your iPod could hold the entire iTunes Music Store. All of your favorite movies. And every textbook you'll ever need for school. But why stop there? You can have the whole library or video library or uh, book library in, this, uh, in the same volume. It's possible in a world where you really can write on the head of a pen. Instead of looking out at the world, University of Nebraska-Lincoln physicists zoom in to the nanometer scale. So we can, in future, I think, use individual atoms to store information. The tiniest building block is measured in nanometers. A nanometer is only one billionth of a meter, so a penny is 150,000 nanometers thick and 19 million nanometers wide. And Abraham Lincoln was almost two billion nanometers tall. Scientists study how materials behave in the nanoscale world and how they can be manipulated for various uses. Nebraska is really uh, participating in that type of research where we try to manipulate matter from bottom up to make something uh, function functional. Scientists use high-powered tools to study and manipulate materials at the nanometer scale. The atomic force microscope works like an old turntable. A tiny needle feels the material and creates an image. It's a sort of map of the how the material look, looks like at the nanoscale, and then based upon the interaction between the probe and the sample, we get information about the different properties. In another lab, the scanning tunneling microscope measures an electric current between the tip of the probe and the surface. Two different methods to the same problem to get complementary information. And this gives us a bigger, better picture of what's going on with our sample and uh, improves our understanding. Using these high-tech tools, scientists create complex structures with nanoparticles as building blocks and then put them to work. In the world of the future, you'll carry the Library of Congress with you or power your car with hydrogen held by a nano-sized magnetic structure. Nanostructures will be used to make computers faster than lightning with batteries that last forever. The scientists at this department are at the very cutting edge of the research. You get to be a first-hand participant in where the science is actually going. I definitely think when it comes to research, we have a very distinct impact uh, on the country as a whole, and even internationally. Tiny images with great possibility. That's the power of red. <laughs>